Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Mocha Mika, and today just munching on something simple. Um, if this is your first time chilling, I'm um, sorry, this is your first time joining me. Welcome, thank you for joining me, and please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you enjoyed the video, and if you're already a rider. Mwah. Love you even more. Thank you for riding and welcome back. So, today, guys, I have something simple. Caught myself making, first time making some lollipop parmesan, garlic parmesan lollipop chicken, chicken lollipops. So that's what they call it. I've seen somebody make it. And I was like, oh, that looks so cute. And it's a cute little way to, you know, a little twist on, you know, chicken legs, chicken drums. But, um, I think I did something wrong because <laughs> it didn't quite come out like I wanted to, but we'll talk about that. We just got some, just got some salad, regular old salad with it. Ugh. So sorry, guys. I know my energy right now is a little low. <sighs> dealing with a few things, you know, having a hard day today. Got this dark cloud over my head today that I haven't been able to quite shake off yet. But I wanted to do a video for you guys because it's been a while. You know, I've been dealing with some things and I haven't really been recording. And, you know, I wanted to do a video. Felt like maybe that'll make me, it will make me feel better to, you know, connect with you guys. Hopefully, you know, you guys comment and we can, you know, talk about some things, maybe some things you guys are going through and things that helps you get through it, you know, but you know, so please excuse my energy. I'm trying to pick it up though. So let's start with this Parmesan chicken legs or lollipop chicken. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> it's not quite, I mean, it's a little bit lollipop-ish, but not quite like it's supposed to be. <laughs> Looks more like a rose, like my daughter had said. My daughter called them rose, chicken rose pop, chicken rose sticks, something like that. And it does look more like a rose than a lollipop. But it is what it is. I'm starving. Let me get set up my salad. So how are you guys doing today? Hopefully your day was way better than mine. And the thing is, it's not that I had a bad day. Like, you know, you know, I had a productive day. You know, went and got some tea, got some things that I needed. As far as did some food shopping and, you know, stuff like that. But, I don't know. It's just some things that's going on in my life right now that, you know, it's just a little hard for me. Just a little, I don't know. Today is just, it's just hitting me different today. <laughs> You know, I've been able to, for the most part, you know, I've been able to start as my mama calling me. I will call her back. Call you back, mama. But for the most part, you know, you know, be able to shake it off and, you know, keep your, keep grinding and do what you got to do. But sometimes right now and then it, it just gets to you. Think, you know, certain things when it's something that really, you know, hurts your soul. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, sometimes you just have them days where it's just like, you don't feel like being bothered with nobody talking to nobody really, but you can't seem to shake this feeling, <sighs> you know, and so I don't know if I, you know, told y'all before, mentioned it before, I believe I did in the video before talking about self-care and all that stuff, you know, and I've said it many times, but it is so important. I'm learning more and more. How important self-care is, man. So important. I know when I was younger. Hold on, let me take a bite, y'all. I need some energy. <laughs> I need some fuel. And I haven't eaten all day, so that didn't make things no better either. Mm. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a good old salad in a while. I love salad. Mm. 
that was just a greedy bite. <laughs> Okay. Let me dive into this. Let me try this egg one. I'm going to do it again, y'all. Like I said, this is my first time making it. And I'm mad because it didn't really come out like I wanted to. I don't know. Please comment down below. Let me know, people, who's, if you made this before. And if something that I could do to keep... Well, I mean, some of the meat stayed on like it's supposed to, but... <laughs> Some of the legs, the meat came off, the, you know, came off the top. I guess I pulled it to the top too much. I don't know. And I don't know. How do I see the, the lady, the YouTuber that I seen do this? Hers looks so nice and rounded at the end. It's like, I don't know. How do you, do you cut it to be all nice and round? I don't know. I don't know, but it is what it is right now. Hmm. <laughs> It look weird, but it tastes bomb. <laughs> I promise you, it did. I'm not just saying that. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes good. Ah. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid it looks too appealing. Anyway, like I was saying, I was talking about how, you know, it's important to take care of yourself, your mental, and know your worth, you know, love yourself enough to know your worth, know your value, know that you're valuable, and that know your value, and know that you're valuable. Even if there's people in your life that try to make you feel like you're not, you know, you know, or maybe in their life, you might not be valuable to them, unfortunately, but that's their loss. If you're a good person, a good hearted person, someone who cares and, you know, do right by people and by, you know, and they don't do right by you, it's their loss at the end. It really is. I'm learning that. I mean, I've always known it, but hmm, we're experiencing it now. I know I told y'all before that I not too long ago, you know, finally decided to end a 20 plus year relationship. That's been very toxic. That was very toxic from pretty much the beginning to the end and you know the person I love very dearly so it hits hard and it hurts I threw out I brought out so much throughout the how much I have lost within this relationship Ooh. I lost a lot of my so far, you. I lost a lot of my self esteem, <laughs> my confidence in myself, just in general. I lost a lot of myself. And so now I'm going through the process of rebuilding and, you know, reconstructing myself. Mending those wounds, you know, and it takes a while, and it's gonna take a while because when you're when you genuinely is all in with somebody, your heart, everything you give them, every your everything, and for so long, I still, you know, wasn't you know appreciated or taken seriously, respected, all types of stuff, you know. My problem was. That I'm learned, have learned that I was looking for the love and that value of myself through someone else. Look, if you don't love yourself, you know, 
and I really didn't you know love myself like I thought I did because <laughs> I wouldn't allow so many things to go and to happen for so long especially you know but you live and you learn everything happens for a reason learning now that everything some people's for a reason some things people's for a season you know even if that season is long long and you know stressful everything's for a reason and although I don't know right now what that reason is I don't quite know you know exactly what that reason is I will know in due time when it's you know God's ready to show me I'll know eventually what the reason for the season was for this one you know but you know I <laughs> I'm sorry. I just opened my mouth and said, y'all, all my food. Trying to do that. Sometimes you can't help it. But, anyway. <laughs> you know. And for so long, I allowed. I've, you know, been depressed for a long You know, went in and out of depression a whole lot of times, and, you know throughout this journey, this relationship or whatever. But one day I'll tell y'all story time of, you know, some crazy things that unfortunately went down <sighs> that no one should ever tolerate. No one. Ever. If you know your worth and you know how valuable you are and you know that you deserve better, you know, than that, you don't have to put up with certain things. You know, searching for that love and affection. I didn't really have, you know, and I know it's kind of cliche. You kind of hear, but see, it's so funny because I didn't realize this until my old, until I was growing my older years, you know, 30s, 40s and stuff. Like when I was younger, teenager and 20s and stuff. I never had problems with my security and believing in myself. And, um... I was definitely a no-nonsense type of, you know, never put up with stuff from dudes, you know. I had no problem. You mess up. You do something crazy. But you got to go on to the next one. <laughs> but, you know how they say, there's always that one that steals your heart. And have you acting crazy and just stupid and doing things that you never thought you'd do. Allowing things that you would never thought you would allow. <laughs> you know, accepting things like to the point where I really lost myself. I had no, I was just, it was just all about whatever this person wanted. You know, like things that I needed for me, I would express. And, you know, we would always get into fights and arguments about you know, because I would have moments where I just can't take it no more and I'm just fed up and tired of not being heard or listened to. You know, I wouldn't get it though. <laughs> or I would get it half assed you know. Just enough to make it seem like, you know, everything's good and okay, you heard me. And maybe if this can work. <laughs> just to find out it was all a facade again. Over and over again. And then you feel more stupider. I know stupider ain't a word, but you feel more stupid every time you... you Give that benefit of the doubt. Give it a chance. And, you know, there's so many things I never, I always said I would never tolerate. I would never, I would never. <laughs> some things I did stick to. No, there's some things I did stick to never did. But, or allowed or fell, you know, fell into. But, again, okay, the relationships, I was like, I would never. And I did. <sighs> Stupidly. But, you know, you live and you learn. We all have those ten moments. We all make mistakes. Mm. And what matters at the end of the day is that you learn from it and grow from it.
Mm -hmm. Use it as a stepping stool to, you know, grow, become a better person, and not repeat. Y'all, 20 some years of repeating. Please pray for me as I will pray for you and everyone out there who's struggling for three things. You know, I would, I pray that you're able to find your strength through the Lord above, if nothing else. And because that's all the strength that I, that's the only strength that I have right now is the Lord above. Eventually I'll have my own strength, but right now I'm very weak because, you know, my heart is very scarred and broken and like, yeah, it's hurting at times. You know, day on some days are better than others, but, you know, I'm determined to get through this. This is definitely a challenge. I was watching something that, you know, was lately I've been watching a lot of inspirational, you know, videos and, you know, even on TikTok, y'all. <laughs> I love me some TikTok. It's it's fun. It makes me happy, makes me laugh. And, and I like to get a lot of spiritual words from there. A lot of people with the spiritual words. This one lady that I was on her lab and she was talking about how you know this type of thing and how you like be able to go through things in life and you have to have the faith and believe that God's going to get you through it and he will like you have to tell yourself you have to speak it into fruition everybody know 220 what is it 2 22 22 just passed and it's supposed to be the day of you know um speaking things into fruition or in like the day of like just good things happening change and like good new beginnings and a lot of different things like that and i'm like a, and I, and a, and she was talking about that and just talking about how we have to learn how to some, uh, there's a saying that she was saying that you have to tell yourself every day when you're having a moments of feeling like you're gonna break or you know when you're struggling and that thing is, and this is something that I, I take seriously and I really have been saying since I heard, since I listened to her, to myself every morning. Or anytime I feel like, you know, I'm getting a little weak. Because <laughs> it happens. You're going to get weak sometimes. You know? But I tell myself, this is a challenge. But I am an overcomer. And I'm going to overcome this in the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. I am an overcomer. Period. Period. And I'm going to overcome this. I don't know how long it's going to take. And, you know, that's, that's in God's, you know, time frame. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to stay focused. I'm going to stay in faith. Walk in faith. Believing that he's going to get me through this. And that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, I'm going to keep that tunnel vision. Knowing that there's a light. Following that light at the end of the tunnel. And there's going to be all types of obstacles and things that's going to be trying to stop me. You know, because the devil is real. And he's always working on us, especially when he knows your vulnerability. Knows your weak spots. You know what I'm saying? He knows how to get you. He ain't getting me no more because he can't get, he got me. I relapsed a couple of days. But he ain't getting me no more. And I promise you that. And on my vlog channel, which is one of the things that I'm working on, please, y'all, make sure you check it out. It's called... Actually, I'm still working on the name, but I will because <laughs> I'm changing it. Right now, it's called Mika's World, but I'm changing it because I'm about to start a new type of channel. It's going to have vlogs too, but it's going to have something else. I'm not going to tell you yet, but when the time comes, you will not. But yes, you know, I'm going to be learning, vlogging my journey of, you know, just things that I'm going to, you know, better me inside and out. Meditating, exercise, you know, therapy, energy, just talking to you guys has made me feel a lot better just already. So I'm glad I did come on here and do this video because I wasn't going to do one. But I'm like, I got to do something for my people. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, little 35 people who's walking with me right now. But I'm working on more. That's all right. And God's name is going to be a lot more. I'm going to reach that 1,000K, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and so far. And on and on and on. I'm going to reach it. And I'm excited for you guys to go on this journey with me. I mean, because I got a lot more things to do, a lot more work to do, and I'm going to do it. Yeah. Probably going to need y'all help and support too. So stick in there with me. But thank y'all for joining me. Be sure to grind, give, and grow because that brings 
blessings right back to you. Love you. Peace.